Uh, what's up guys, Jimmy Old School Flips here. We're headed to the thrift store this morning. It is Wednesday, senior day. I'm not a senior yet, I know. I know I look the part, but I got a good, dang, only nine years. I got nine years until I get that discount. So now go ahead and make the comments down below. Let me have it. Um, So it is senior day. Now I don't get the discount, but they always stock the shelves really good on senior day. So that's why I go there. And really, honestly, there's hardly any stuff left that's worth buying at half price anyways but the shelves are stocked moving forward i'll be going on wednesday i should say i used to go on tuesday but wednesdays have been way better so we're gonna go down there today so i got my nephew ryan with me today he's coming to the thrift week now he thinks that everybody's gonna hear what he says right here and everybody's but he doesn't know that i'm about to voice this over he's bringing his basketball with him to play basketball in the thrift again i think he's just bringing it to annoy the seniors that are shopping i don't know As I said before, I gotta voice this over. So right away, I'm gonna grab this Disney pack right here, uh, new in the package. They're asking $5.99 for it. Well, I'll price that in a second. I've seen this potato before. It's not worth a lot. There's some new sealed games. They're priced from $5.99 to $7.99. Prices I don't want to pay for them, so I pass on most of these games. So what I'm doing right now, again, I'm just looking for stuff that I can put in my cart and take a look at later in case I don't know what it's worth. From here, I just spotted that Funko Pop right there. I think it was $4.99 they were asking for it, so I'm going to put that in the cart and look that up as well. Taking a look at this baby toy right here. It's not a brand I heard of. The box has some damage, so I'm going to pass on that. Then I go across the way over here. I see this Raggedy Ann doll. Um, they're asking like $29.99 for it. I don't know. I didn't even look up what it's worth, but I'm going to pass at that price. Then I pick up this snuggly doll thing. Um, I ended up putting it back though, cause it's not worth a lot. Normally I see this old Arizona Diamondbacks logo and I will pick it up. But since these were like casino giveaways, they're just not worth as much. So I end up putting these hats back. Today's discounts are 75% off green, 50% off white, 50% off of yellow, and for seniors, it is 50% off of red. I always do a quick scan of this area for like wooden puzzles, rare strategy games, or model kits. Taking a look at some of like home electronics, um, small appliances right here, not my best area. I always do look over here for stuff that I know, but for the most part, I'm not the best at it. Like that could be a good lava lamp. I don't know. Maybe I should go back and see if that lava lamp is there and look more at it. I missed it though. I didn't even see it. Now this light right here caught my eye, but I just, again, I know nothing about this. Maybe you guys can tell me more about what I'm looking at right here. First of all, I didn't see a price on it. Looks old. Looks like it be, could be worth money, but I just don't know. Heading into my favorite section of the store, the toy section. Right away, I see this Lego set that's new in the box, but they're asking $7.99 for it. I looked it up, and I'd probably be lucky to get $20 plus shipping. Plus, it's an Easter Lego, and Easter's next weekend or this weekend coming up, so it'll be too late to sell it for Easter. Always got to check these grab bags for toys. Um, it looks like it's freshly stocked, so I'm scanning it pretty good. Don't see anything that jumps out at me right here. I'm trying to get past to some of the newer stuff. These giant, tall plastic figures that are really cheaply made are not worth a lot, so I don't usually ever buy anything right there. I think I find a couple things right here that are new in the package that will flip on eBay pretty well. Here's some doll stuff i'm always looking for bags full of the same kind of toys like that was some doll stuff but nothing that caught my eye sometimes these halloween masks can be worth a lot this isn't one that looks like it's worth much so i passed on that i think i find a disney frozone figure back here you guys can get it right now uh star trek is not good so i don't ever look up star trek for the most part i've found that star trek is even worth my time 
But this Frozone figure from The Incredibles, he's actually pretty good. Uh, 3 dollars and he'll be half price. You can see where I put some of that stuff back right here. This is another section where I'm always looking for, again, like strategy games, more model kits, and then like rare vintage wooden puzzles. And this is where the big grab bags are. I think right here in a second, I'm about to find a pretty good grab bag with some transformers in it. Of course, my nephew's got to be the star of the show. Stop right here. Make sure he's on camera. Look at the camera with... And again, I'm scanning for toys, but here it is, that Transformer bag that I see. It's full of Transformers. For $9.99, I'll buy that all day, because I collect Transformers. But I also know that Transformers, for the most part, are always worth good money. I walked the rest of the way down this aisle, and nothing else worth buying that I found. So, we'll just go ahead and skip to the next. Um, there's a lot to look at here, obviously. But I can tell you right now... I didn't find anything worth buying the rest of the way. For some reason I only screenshotted this, but this is a little vintage piece that I picked up for $5.99. It's half price, so I paid three bucks for it. Every once in a while the price shoes pretty good here. These vintage checkered vans are $4.99. Um, I've actually never seen this style before. This is a pretty cool Van Engelin. I've never even heard of that, um, but for $4.99, I will definitely pick these up. Woo, the find of the day. Look at this Redskins starter jacket. They're asking $7.99 for this. Look at that hit on the back. Vintage Redskins starter. Let's go. All right, everyone, we're back at the house. Um, I got everything set up here on the porch to show you what I bought and the um, comparable comps. First thing is this bag of Transformers. I myself collect Transformers, so there's a possibility I'm keeping these. But if not, I still think the bag is worth over 50 bucks, and I paid $9.99 for it, so I'll buy that every single time I go. Next up is this vintage Levi's jacket. It was $14.99. But it's definitely vintage. It doesn't have the pockets on the inside, stuff like that I know to look for. That's worth about $45 plus shipping for that jacket. This is something I bought because I, I couldn't find it anywhere. It's called an Auto Muff. Unfortunate name. But just by looking at the graphic on it, I mean, look at her. It's vintage. It's brand new. It's never been used. It's like an ice shield for your windshield when it's snowing or freezing outside. Windshield protector. Really don't know what that's worth, but it was half price today, so I only paid $3 for it. Put it up as vintage windshield protector, and we'll see what happens. Another half price item is this Frozone, so I paid $2 for this. He's worth about $15 to $17 plus shipping, new in the package like that. These uh, vans, um, they're older vintage vans. Um, what's the name on these again? Van, what is his name? Sorry about that view. Van Engelin, Engelin. I don't know a lot about them, but I looked this particular style up um, because they're older. It's worth about 50 to 60 plus shipping, and I paid $4.99 for them. Full price. Blue was full price. This little Disney set right here was also full price at $4.99, but this has sold for about $25 plus shipping, so I'm definitely going to pick that up every time. It's still new sealed. This is one of the better finds of the day. Could be second best or best of the day. Siberian Husky Pets Funko Pop. So the last souls on these are about 50 bucks, but currently people are asking 150 for them. So it's kind of one of those things I'll probably go a little bit lower than what people are asking, but definitely higher than the 50 that they that they sold for since there's not a lot of them available on eBay right now. Found this new with tags the Nightmare Before Christmas hat. It's a hot topic. They were asking $3.99 for it, and it's worth about $20 plus shipping. Then two of my better finds right here, and my best find. So first, I've never heard of this backpack before, so I definitely had to look it up. Yonex, it's in really, really good condition. They were asking how much for this, so it's half price. Price tag on it is $14.99, so I paid $7.50 for that, and it should sell for about $60 plus shipping. And now the best find of the day. I mean, I, when I saw this, my jaw dropped. This is a vintage starter Redskins uh, jacket with the big hit on the back. With the big logo hit. Beautiful vintage starter. And I couldn't believe the price on this. 
$7.99. And that jacket should fetch $125 to $150 plus shipping. I might have to wait till fall for it to go. Who knows though, collector with the Redskins, it could go right away. So that's it guys, that's everything I found today. A great day at the thrift. Quick one hour trip to the thrift and I found all this profit right here. Love that thrift store, love going on a Wednesday morning. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Keep hustling, find that next treasure.